Hi everyone, the Lord Wolf here. Welcome back to some World of Warcraft. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about another activity that I've been doing, uh, basically in preparation for Battle for Azeroth. Maybe a little bit. It's a, it's a nice side quest mission uh, type of content that you can definitely do, and it always drops uh, potentially. Uh, it doesn't always drop a legendary, but potentially you can get a legendary as a reward. And it's the emissaries. So whenever you go to the map down here, you will find up to three emissaries that you can do. So basically factions that you can do a uh, world quest for. And for uh, today, for instance, I have to do four quests for the Valor Jar, um, which is over here in, what's it called actually? Uh, in Stormheim. So I'm heading for Valdesdal over here and then we can try and do a couple of these Valor Jar quests. After you finish four of them, you get a Valor Jar cage, which uh, again has a small chance of actually drop, dropping a legendary. So it's not that much effort. On top of that, you can also run this with a follower, which can have like nice little bonuses, like get extra gold for every uh, world quest that you finish with him as your companion. And uh, Regar is with me. He doesn't have the item yet, but I now have a mission to go grab the item. And so then we'll definitely upgrade him for that. Um, this doesn't take too much time, although from time to time, especially in High Mountain, you have to go look for the actual quest locations, uh, find the right flight paths. For instance, here I have something about Murlocs, but I haven't discovered that place just yet. So we'll just get started on that and um, show you guys a little bit of that content. Obviously here in the Broken Isles, it's actually pretty easy. Once you've finished your Arcanite grind and you don't have pieces below 910 anymore, yeah, we'll do that later. Um, so once you've got all your pieces uh, at 910 or higher, it does become a lot easier to quest here solo. But again, it's the same tip as with your uh, Ar uh, Argonite grind. The very easiest way is actually to do this with two people, um, just because you'll just smoothen the progress a little bit. Many of these uh, are kill quests, for instance, and then you share progress. It just goes twice as fast for these four world quests, especially if you can fly with someone. That's pretty good. And that's basically what this is all about. So you spot the quest, you can also click on it in order to start tracking it. And then you just head in that direction and start doing whatever needs doing. And here for Defend the Gates of Valorchar, you just have to, I think, kill stuff. Let's see what happens with that horn power. Yeah, so we can just uh, finish those these guys with uh, a dot. Flame Shock, you as well, please. And... There is that? Oh, that's someone else. I thought maybe it was Rhaegar. There is. Here is Rhaegar, my bodyguard. And we are now at 18%. Let's keep going here. Grab some more of these guys. And maybe see what's happening over here. What? Take that. Take that. So better, what does this power do? Guardian orbs. Oh, all right, cool. So at this point, I don't actually need to use these powers too much. But let's uh, put down a magma totem. Let's try to attract some more. I'd like to attract you. Anyone else wants to come in? And there we go, at 87%. May the twisting never be filled with the lamentations of your enemies. And there we go. That's one world quest done. Let's actually quickly get out of here. Maybe give this guy a little bit of backup. Looks like he's... Ah, there we go. He actually used that lightning. Chain lightning. Uh, well, let's just get through these guys. Do the same thing. So we got Stormkeeper up and running. And now you can just instant chain lightning. Maybe some of these will... Oh, they don't drop anything. Okay. And you are gone. But you can clearly tell that if you've done the Argonite grind, this becomes somewhat trivial. Uh, because you are far more powerful than the content here. Uh, world quest for uh, stuff on Argus or an emissary, I should say, for stuff on Argus can be a bit more tricky. And there again, um, 
either have that grind finished or do it with another player that makes it a bit more fun and a bit more efficient. Let's see if we can actually head for uh, reclaiming Moorheim. Don't really know this area and uh, we'll see if we can easily get to that quest location. If not, that's okay. But you can you can definitely tell the system, right? Uh, you've got a faction, then you just have to find the uh, world quests for that faction, finish all four of them and go grab your rewards. And every day you'll get a new emissary and you can uh, save up to three of them. So you can either do this as a daily grind or you can choose to do this. Let's go this way. Uh, you can choose to do this uh, in one big session once every three days. That chance for a legendary is of course quite nice and let's see if we can... Goodbye. Probably want to go this way. Um, and another thing that, that I think always drops from these rewards uh, bo boxes is the currency called, I think it's this, Wakening Essence. Uh, once you have a thousand Wakening Essence, let's see if I can use my glider. Yes, I can. Awesome. Once you have a thousand Wakening Essences, uh, that's also a legendary that you can just grab from a vendor in um, uh, in the city in Dalaran. So let's move up here. I've actually never been here. This is actually a pretty nice location as well. Although it's a bit more gloomy than High Mountain. High Mountain is still my favorite place uh, to uh, to play in so far in Legion. The there we go. I cannot abide their presence in that one sacred place. Eradicate this filth. So they only have 1.3 million HP and this time it's a little bit different here. You have a, a, a more specific goal to finish. Kill eight murlocs and destroy three stolen armaments. I wonder if I can... where I'll find those. Um, okay, let's go like that. You can come here as well. Anybody wants to melee? No? Alright. Stolen armaments. Not sure if I can find those right here. Let's go like this. You want to come to my magma totem as well? Yep, there we go. And that's eight murlocs slain. And does that show me the stolen? Yep, stolen Vrikal armament. And that's this kind of stuff. All right. Let's do this. So it's just a click and destroy. Like that. And then over here we'll have one more. And here is a rare Grovgrol, the Conqueror. Well, at this point, 7 million HP is really not that much anymore. So, you don't have to go too crazy in order to take those guys down. There we go. And what do I get? Some order resources and a 785 item. And then, let's also take care of you. Oh, he survived. He actually survived my lava bursts. But there we go. Three out of three done. This village owes its name. He was a fine leader. And now we could look for Vampirates. Ten stolen artifacts collected. And that's also Valor Jar. Yeah, yes it is. Okay. That shouldn't be too far from here. So we'll do this one as well. Um, just to explore that quest. I'm not really sure what it's all about. And after that, well, I'll do the fourth one. Well, maybe I'll try to rush it hmm, up there okay maybe we'll try so i can show you guys the rewards as well but vampirites should be around here somewhere and we have to find stolen artifacts is infested with pirate that's for fishing vampires Pire, vamp, vampires bah, just go slay them the fools are plundering relics we bury never meant to be on earth. Ah, there we go. So, again, a different type of quest here. You just have to kill and collect from the mobs. Like this guy. Yep, that's two of them done. Let's see if uh, he has anything. Lot thing. Whoa! 
Okay, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> okay, I guess that uh, you could take a quest line here for that guy. Nice, <laughs> very cool. Uh, we'll just take that, but we'll do it later. We'll focus on our world quest here first. So we have a swash. Okay, so someone must have done that because now they're actually all over the beach as well. Can you come over here too. There we go. That's still only three. Yep, someone else is running. This one would be good if... Ah, damn. If you can tag the mob, um, then you do also still get the loot rewards. It does look like they uh, spawn back pretty quickly. Let's tag this guy. Let's tag him. And I think... Did he just walk in there or make the same mistake? <laughs> So that's eight of them. Oh, all right. Very nice respawn rate. You are next. You are next. And so are you. Chain Lightning. Blop. Everybody's down. And we have our ten artifacts. Grave harm in the hands of those greedy fiends. You did well to retrieve them. Yeah, no problem. Uh, let's see if we can get back up there. Uh, okay, gotta try and take a right here. Uh, then we'll we'll see if we can still do the final one. Shock absorber. Not sure how that works though. Can I just walk through? Ooh, that looks like it's actually an alliance outpost. Is there another flight path that I could take? Or do I have to go around this way? Oh, doesn't look like it. Let's take a quick look at the details here. Grey watch, but they don't like me. Uh, maybe I can go around it and then climb using the hook. That's possible. Is something like that an option? Let's see if I can go this way and then to the right. Grey watch guards. Yeah, there we go. Get some elite worgen. We could actually, I think, handle that. 12 million HP is not that much but this looks like the way we should go i think if you keep doing this on a daily basis you will also eventually uh, earn the uh, the exploration um, achievements uh, for all of these regions so probably an added perk because i just added a little bit of information uh, for this region we'll go to that flight path or do I just ride it out? Because I just have to follow the road, basically. And I don't see a much better flight path, except maybe that one. Probably not worth it. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just follow the road. And see what this quest is all about. Transponder charged. Shock absorber. And so here we go, taking a look at this region as well. All of them, I feel they are pretty nice, although some of them are a bit more linear, flat, I guess. Um, it both ha uh, has its advantages and disadvantages. So I would say the advantage uh, for um, here, High Mountain, and, and this region here, uh, which I keep forgetting, it's Stormheim. Um, it has a lot of character. You've got the big mountains, you've got the awesome atmosphere and am i still going yeah in the right direction um but the disadvantage sometimes you need to explore a little bit in order to find out where you have to go for your quest uh, sometimes you'll get stuck on trying to climb a mountain if you take the direct route and things like that this gets solved once you can fly but that's still a decent grind for me i'm not even sure if i'll try to do that before the expansion um the flatter ones well they have the advantage for instance on uh, azuna and uh, that's what I started my leveling 100 to 110 uh, on is um, 
It's really flat, very easy to get from one place to another. If you get the world quest there for your emissaries, it's of course a lot faster than what I'm doing here. It's already taking me 15 minutes and I still have all of this traveling to do. So probably 20-25 minutes to finish everything and grab the reward. I think in Azuna uh, you, can, you can finish the, the quest lines in, in like 10 to 15 minutes. So up here, and then we somehow have to get to the Weeping Bluff. Let's see if we can spot that, because I'm not sure where we're going. Can't say that I remember doing this world quest before, so... Let's see here. So we... we I think we can try to cross this way. But then we have to go to the right little bit. Oh. have crafted a clever toy. They claim can harness the power of the storm. Go forth and test their handiwork in that Okay. Let's see, I do have to go this way. And these guys... No, doesn't show. So, on the whenever you hover above um, a mob... You can see if they have anything to do. What the hell is all of this? That's another alliance encampment, apparently. Let's try to go around, I guess. I don't want to be the, the one that starts the war for battle for Azeroth. And then we need to go to the right. Up here. I think that'll be possible. This should be the area, and then we have to... Transponder charged. How the hell does that work? That looks like... Ooh, holy crap. A massive alliance wreck as well. So, absorb storm drake lightning attacks to charge the transponder. I see. And where do I find the storm drakes? Find them up here. Okay. Don't think that there's a way for me to attract them. So I'll need to... Uh, can I climb using the hook or something? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Hmm. Let's see. Is there a way up there? Trying to figure this out. Oof, don't fall down there. No hooks. Uh, don't fall. God damn it. All right. Water walking active. Ah, I can get back up this way. All right. Hmm. So I will have to somehow go through that encampment. And then try to get up there. And yeah, that's the disadvantage when you still have to explore parts of this world. When you rush... To 110 you could say. Uh, so we can go around these guys this way. But then I somehow need to get up there. How do you do that? Uh, still not this way either. Okay. So basically I went down a bit too early. I think that's what's happening. Alliance character, some more of these guys. And I'm hoping that I'm not making the same mistake again. Uh, I think we're okay. This should be the area. Yeah, there we've got drakes that are actually dying from stuff. So people are running the quest. Okay, we found it. They can actually fly. So that makes things a lot faster and more efficient, of course. Ancient Storm Drake. What do we have to do? Okay, so that starts to fill just by them attacking me. So we're just going to sit here a little bit. And I basically shouldn't have put my dot on them. That's what this comes down to. 
So let's see if I can spot another one. Just put a frost chuck on him. And then try to grab all of that storm energy. Yeah, there's one dead over here. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, let's join in. Hello. Let's give him a hello. No, don't. No, no. <laughs> Don't kill him! No! No, stop killing the drakes! God damn it! <laughs> Good god, that's a lot of people! I'm surprised. It's not usually this busy here. I hope that they can stop killing all the drakes so we can grab the rest of the attacks. Anything back here? Nope. That does make this one a bit more annoying. The area is pretty big though. You should... Ah, there's another one up here. So let's see if I can actually like get in range. Or do you have to... Again, I'm still looking for that hook potentially. I'm not seeing it. Oh, Ancient Storm Drake. Yes. Okay, so let's try again. Frost chalk so we don't dot them down. Come here as well. Yes. Lightning, that's what I need. And of course, the idea is that you can then heal yourself. Oh no, Regard, stop doing that. Regard, don't kill it. Regard, you're too aggressive. Luckily, I don't think he can reach this one. Yes, keep doing the ball lightning on me. I hope that this is added. 62, another one please. I'll take it. Yes, yeah, 64. So there we go. We're doing it in, in probably a bit of a bugged way. But it is slowly working. 70%. 72% Ah, that's nice <laughs> Adolescent Storm Drake Keep attacking me Does he have enough HP to survive a Frost Shock? No, okay Too bad Little Whelp won't be helping But we're almost, yeah, we're at 100 Do I have to press something? Almost yes, just right click it but cleverness is useless without strength of arms. Roger that. And there we go. That's this quest done. So you just wanna you wanna yeah, stand in there. There you go. Definitely don't kill it. Don't think that they would appreciate that. What we trained for. So now let's move back. You can see now over here we have to enter that quest or this emissary so let's uh, get over there take a look at the rewards and half an hour of work I would say that this is unusually long because of my problems with the um, with the final quest here but lesson learned I know what to do now so next time I'll be able to do this a bit more quickly this is Stormheim these elementals they really shouldn't be attacking me. I am, after all, shaman of um, of the circle, a stone circle or something like that. And uh, they should respect me. In some parts of, uh, of the quest line for the shaman, it is like that. Um, so where the elementals attack other players, they won't attack a shaman, which is pretty cool. Uh, nope, I'm again heading in the wrong direction. But this gives us a pretty cool view. So we've got the, the forests that are in fall back there. The encampments all over the place. Nice waterfalls in the back. And then a massive... The Gate of Valor, I think this is called. 
that probably leads to the dungeon and it's a left gotcha this is something these emissaries I try to keep up with them uh, although I don't feel the pressure to absolutely have to finish all of them I can usually manage that so even if you miss one day you know you can still do it once every three days and half an hour of uh, playing World of Warcraft to do these emissaries is definitely quite doable sometimes you can also finish this in like 15 minutes so just have to go over the bridge and hope for a legendary Here we go, and is it up there? I think so. There we go, it's Valdemar Stormseeker. She, she keeps wanting to give me a quest, but uh, not today. Let's complete this and take a look at that. Uh, 2.5 billion artifact power. This is a bit more artifact power, can always be useful. And let's take a look at the rewards here. So Awakening Essence, Order Resource and one Curious Coin. It's just, this Awakening Essence is basically the grind for those legendaries. And you have a small chance for them to drop from all of this as well. That's going to be it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Jar.